Yo, what is up? Let me do this real quick. I had to knock this out real quick. So it's going to be a really short video. But um, I showed you guys how to actually do automations with um, with Reaper. And we use Glitch as an example. Um, basically, uh, I got instructed. <laughs> I'll put it like that. I had a conversation with a, a really dope guy. And uh, I actually tagged him in the last video if you're watching it on IG. And so um, I got I got schooled, I got educated on uh, glitch, and uh, I, I kind of insinuated this, but I was like, I don't know how to do it. <laughs> so, but uh, on YouTube, a brother asked me like, "Can you go through all this without making automations?" And initially, I was like, "Nah, bro, good luck." And then I got educated, and it was like, "Oh, my bad." And then I was told, "You need to read the manual." <laughs> <laughs> and rightfully so so i did take a look at it um i looked at some other examples that i was given and i looked at it and i was like oh, okay I, I think i got it together now yay so um i'm gonna show you guys how to actually uh get this set up with your uh your keyboard right how to get glitch set up with the midi so you can tell it what the heck you want it to do okay so let's go through that real quick first and foremost you're going to go to options and you're going to go to preference or you can hit okay uh so it's been like a minute and some change okay i said a lot of stuff really fast so this is going to be a really short video all right so we're going to metronome in and uh another thing because you have it on gate when you hit it it turns off on its own or you can go all the way here so you have to hold it so it's actually treated like an actual instrument where you hold it and it plays however long you want to play it then if you let go it go back it goes back to its original beat so um what we're going to do first we're going to metronome in and let it play for a minute right there we go. Now, here we go. One, two, and I'm going to hold it for a second. And I'm going to let go of it. Now, this is just me playing. I'm not recording it. All right, cool. So let's go ahead and record. And we'll let it play. And you're going to see it on the keys. Here we go. Go to the next one. So we could do it over. So, but what, since I actually want to actually play the beat in it, uh, we're going to start it off like that. So let's uh, bring it back, right? So here we go. Three and. I'm going to let that play all the way through. Here we go. And bah. I'm a bit delayed, so I'm going to fix that. Let's go to the next one. There we go. I, love, I thought this was dope. And you can mess with all the different effects on here as well. Here we go. I'm going to change it up real quick. Here we go. So I'm going to fix that. I'm going to quarantize that. All right, cool. So let's actually edit that real quick. Boop, boop, boop. And we're going to double click. And I like to manually do this. So actually, we should be actually on beat. Um, let me make sure we're good. Quantize, yes. Uh, all notes. 
بشه دیگه اینجوری دابل چکه بیا پوزیشن There we go. And uh, that's actually not, it's like right behind. So, and we're gonna zoom in, probably zoom in a little bit yet. Cause we don't want it to actually, we don't want it to overlap. Now, I actually don't use this for this, but even if you're in fr uh, FL Studio, you can do the same thing, at least as far as like the MIDI stuff is concerned. You can do the exact same thing. We'll, we'll, I could probably show you guys that. But since we're doing it in Reaper, that was the last thing I showed you guys. And uh, you're able to do the same thing. So um, we're going to actually get into this as soon as I fix this because I want you guys to take a listen. And uh, let's, now we're going to just play it real quick. I can turn this off now and we should be good to go. All right, here we go, real quick. There you go. Right. So what I'm going to do is actually uh, unmute this stuff because I actually have guitar playing. Um, let's, uh, where did I have it at? Right, right around here. That's the chorus. All right, right? So that sounds a hot, janky mess, but you can always EQ it and do whatever. I'm just giving you an example. Right, so we're not gonna play all that because that's actually playing my, <laughs> my, my beat. Right. All right. So, uh, yeah, we're not going to get into all of that. So that's pretty much it far as Reaper is concerned. So uh, let's go ahead and hop over to um, FL Studio real quick and, and see if we can do the same thing. Of course, we can do the same thing. But let's just go over there, shall we? All right. Oof. So um, this one here is just as a little bit kind of eh. So what I would advise you to do first and foremost, you're going to go to MIDI. I made I made it bigger so you can see it. Um, of course, you're gonna p like select your launch key. We're gonna make this a MIDI as well, well, because it's, it's a performance. So you want to enable that too. So that should be already enabled, or whatever. All right. Now the next thing that we're going to do, which I've already done is you're going to load glitch, right? You're going to go to the mixer or you're going to hit F9, right? Turn it off. Hit F9 and you're going to go to the mixer. Now, you can put that in any channel or, right, any one of these uh, mixer tracks that you want to put it in. Me, I put it in the sync because I'm going to be affecting the whole entire beat for this example. And you go to glitch. Okay, that's that, right? We're not done yet. So now you're going to hit F6 and you're going to create a MIDI out. You're going to load up a MIDI out for another channel, for a beat channel, right? So you can go to add, you can go right click here, you can go to insert, however you want to do it, and add your MIDI out. Now your MIDI out is there. Um, You can put it at a certain channel, but they both have to link up with one another. They have to link up. So if you do it with, say we do channel one with, right, do it like that, right? So let's go back here to F9 and then also I'm sorry you have to go here as well so you have this little plug here you go here to this guy right here to the VST wrapper settings and then you'll mess with the import number so what should happen is this well actually it didn't happen and womp 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 oh cause that's on port 2 that's why genius there you go So we got that established now um, with this one, of course, you can always record or whatever, or you can just set it how you want to set it, but you should be able, because it's a note, it's a MIDI out. There we go. MIDI out. Now with Fruit Loop, I had my stuff set up a certain way just so you guys can hear it. So it may be a little bit delayed when I'm playing. So um, 
because I had to change out like my drivers and stuff like that. Cause whatever, that's not important. We're gonna just go and fix it. So like with me, I'm gonna go here, and we're gonna start up top right there because it's an instrument now, right? So we'll go through all this. Um, I really don't want you guys to hear my sample. <laughs> the sample that I used, what well, I don't mind telling you, is Victor Manuel, uh, Palabras y Pensamientos. All right. Dope song, dope song, dope song, dope song. So uh, we're going to go ahead and get into it. And uh, what I would like to do, let's go back here. I want you guys to take a look at what's going on, right? So you see me. And then that's it, because that's all I have for my test glitch. So we'll hold it right there. We'll set it to record, and it should be punching in. And Let's change it up. Right. A lot of life going on. We'll get to that in a second. I don't know why. There you go. I don't know why you're doing that. That's weird. We're going to play it back, though. Let's turn it off. Boy, you tripping. You just stopped. I was wondering why you stopped. All right. So... Yeah, why did you stop? <laughs> what the heck? Now I got to edit this. All right. Um... Oh, you know what? I forgot about that. That's right. Um, let's go back here. There you go. Um, what was this connected to though? The beat. All right. So of course you guys should know about that. You're gonna make a new uh there you go, a new pattern. And life is a little bit easier like this, actually, because you can you can it's almost like automated without automating. So we'll bring that in like that. And uh We'll bring that back there. Sorry. And you guys know how it is with FL Studio. So um, my apologies about that. You know what? I'm not going to edit that. We're going to let that go. So you guys can see, <laughs> see me have a brain fart right there. All right. So let's go back here. Yeah, it's, you know, it's, it's not about being perfect. Not really. At least that's what I'm trying to tell myself because I am a bit of a perfectionist. All right. So um, here we go. We're going to try it again. Ba, 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 ba. So there we go. So here we go. Uh, Starting right here. Yes. Ba, ba. That's ugly. <laughs> That's ugly. <laughs> That's horrible. We'll get back into it and we'll we'll quarantine that. Cause I don't want you guys to hear my sample, like how I actually did the sample. Uh, I actually did a video kind of like explaining that a little bit. Uh, we'll probably get back into it. So actually, that should be quantized like that, technically. Let's see. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Because I left it in cell. I didn't put it in uh, none. Usually I do it in none because I'm, like, playing a bunch of keys and I wanted to flow a certain way. So anyways, let's go ahead and just play that real quick. So what should happen, and uh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to turn off that, 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 that. Why's my kick drum off? I was wondering, I'm like, something's wrong. Something's wrong. All right, so 
Let's go ahead and just play it like that real quick. Let's play with the keys. Let's throw the keys in there real quick. So that is basically it. And that was me playing it with the MIDI. Now you can still do, um, that's kind of dope actually. And, you know, and of course, you know, you can like mess with all these effects right here too. Like you can control that, but like with, um, let me see if they'll let me do that here now. Nope. All right, so. So, and you know, once I release the keys, cause I have it on gate, it just went back to normal. So um, that's about it. Actually, I don't mind playing this. I like I released a song uh, right now. It's currently on uh, Bandcamp, but uh, it's going to be on all other DSPs very soon, uh, sometime this week. Uh, I was checking CD Baby because I wanted to release it through CD Baby this time versus uh, DistroKid. The song is called um, You Can't Imagine. It's in celebration of me getting married. Oh, sorry. It's in celebration of me getting married to my wife. Oh, let me not get into that. That's another bag. Um. Of course, if you guys are watching on IG, I talk about that. If you guys are watching on YouTube, I talk about relationships and stuff like that as well with the uh, uh, Why Love segment. And uh, we're not going to get into all that because right now we're talking about this. <laughs> so we're not going to get into all that. But there, I do have a song where I'm using that. And I actually use uh, Glitch. I used the old version of Glitch. There you go. That's the older version of Glitch that I actually use for it because I do a delay. Oh, you wanna you you wanna be stupid? Oh, okay. You wanna be weird? It's my computer tripping, y'all. Please forgive me. It don't know no better. But anyways, that's the older version of Jesus. Okay, all right. That's what we're doing, huh? That's what we're doing. But in any case, I do use it like that, and I use automations because I fade it in, and uh, I do a tape stop and fade. I actually I use an automation to fade it in, and uh, let me see if I can get to that real quick so I can show you that automation. I'm not going to play it because if you actually hear the song, you go to my website, you hear the song, or it, actually it is on my website. Um, but if you go to Bandcamp as well, you'll be able to like hear the tape stop and how I did it. And I actually faded it in to the, uh, where art thou? Don't let thou. Don't let thou do. Don't let thou do. So that's the volume right there. That's the automation for that and it fades in. So anyways, but you'll actually be able to hear all of that. I might do another video talking about that. Uh, we'll see. I don't know. But I hope that that helped you guys out. I really hope it did. Um, Cause uh, yeah. Um, basically I had to correct myself on that. Like I said, uh, I got schooled, I got educated and um, real quick. And um, I'm, I'm not sure if I can actually like get going into detail about that. I, I'm not sure if I can or can't, but um. Uh, uh, basically, I got educated. So once again, I just want to give a shout out to uh, uh, to, to Illformed, and of course to the to 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 the to the product called Glitch, and you know, saying Glitch Two and all that good stuff. So uh, I hope that helped you guys out. It's a long video, and uh, I might have to do some timestamps for you guys so we can get get to the point, right? So you can see what you need to see. All right. So uh, pray that I help. Peace and God bless. Deuce.